And we're seeing a uh, a knife round tactic here from Lowland Lions, I believe. They actually have a tactic for this knife round. Yeah, I'm not too sure exactly what it is, but I think they stack up basically. They go in a uh, a diamond formation or a triangle formation or something. Oh, but EG trying to do the uh, road hacks. Quirty's going to go for the frag. No, Sticky is going to go down to Wise Guy. The knife round really does tell which side. And really, you'd expect most teams to probably want the defensive start. I'm not too sure. Some teams are good at attack. Lowland Lions getting the frags on the knife. Two on one. Last man standing is Jopo versus Rob Wiz. And Rob Wiz gets it. So what will they be going? They're going defense, as expected. I'll tell you what, speak of the devil, guess who's got to show up in this map? Rob Wiz? Bingo. Oh, well, that was a bit harsh. He had like 20 fracks. Did I have 34? <laughs> That's true. But uh, let's, not, let's not be too harsh on the lad. But this is the map where Rob Wiz's snipering is going to come into all sorts of questioning. He we've won't got, snipe. We've got Blackman sitting to our right who has shown snipe. the world how to snipe on this map. And if you have a player like that delivering for you so regularly, the impact is you know, fantastic. Rob Wiz, will he snipe, won't he snipe? Well, he will on defense. He'll snipe on defense, not on attack. Pandemic told him not to. Mm. But that was because they failed on attack. Here we go. We're rocking and rolling. D-Man, take us away. So, yes, let's follow the man in question. He twitches away. He has got the scope. So, let's see if he does spot them. Going for the uh, usual position. Checks it out. Lands it straight away. Answers the call. Stand and deliver. Don't right go down. Right on cue from Rob Wiz. It's almost like he was listening in. And his uh, opposite number only just got into place. Deny shutting down Restyle as Sticky works his way in. Rob Wiz shuts down Joe Pope. And Wombat going hunting for the frags. First round all important. Yeah, remember, EG won the first map, and EG won the second round. First, or should I say the first round of the second map. They won the first round of the first map. Is that an omen? Maybe. Well, let's see. We'll follow Robbers. Worked last time. Put a little pressure on him, and look what happens. In fact, QWERTY scopes up looking for them, trying to make the crossover into A. The smoke should stop him, though. Over goes QWERTY's grenade. Deny comes in. Oh, yes, from QWERTY. It was his grenade that got the frag. In fact, the sniper shot didn't until the second bite of the cherry as it then comes in on Deny. Fantastic stuff from Ralph. Two on three as Wombat gets himself the frag onto QWERTY. Rob was now as a one on three and landed it in the buttock but wasn't enough. Was on Sticky. Darts through Doko, watching the sky for grenades that haven't come his way. Rob Wiz. Explosives planted. Grenading over. Hello. <laughs> Sticky jihads out. Rob Wiz charging at him with the prime <laughs> grenade. And if there ever was a point to prove pandemic <laughs> point, that was it. Oh, they told me they were going to do that before. <laughs> I wasn't sure. They said, you wait. When it goes down to one man, we're going to stick his going to jihad. And there it is, straight into him. They said they got him before against Pandemic. He actually took two down against Pandemic in a jihad moment at that time. And it worked. It worked. You know, who cares about frags and uh, score lines and kill to death ratios? It's all about the win. Some players need to be reminded of that sometimes. QWERTY getting the double frag on Deny and Wombat. Explosive the bomb goes down. QWERTY gets his third on Rob Wiz. Frankly, he gets his fourth on Wise Guy. They're just lining up down the street for him. Why'd you believe it? What are they thinking? Oh, and he's got the fifth. He pulls out the ace. Beautiful play from QWERTY. Oh, just what sniper? They knew he was there. All five of them. And that's, well, QWERTY will punish you if you'd make such silly mistakes. And something like that, it's not what you want from L3 because L3 now... When QWERTY gets happy, he gets absolutely rampant. He will destroy EG. The more you build his confidence, the better he gets. He's like Samson. The longer his hair grows, the stronger he becomes. <laughs> Samson and Delilah. Don't you read the Bible? No. Well, 
Robwes now one on three. Double grenade from Robwes pulls it back to a one on one. Quirky versus Robwes, the two most flamboyant players on the server, now go head to head for the round point. And this is what will decide it to pull it back to a two on two as they make their way through. Quirky has the ball, but Robwes has the frag and he chimes out. Anything you can do, I can do. Maybe not with five frags, but he can pull the round out regardless. And that is 2-2. What a match. This is what we wanted. We wanted the second map. 13-11 on the first. 2-2 two, two on the second. Remember, Lowland Lions just need to pick one map win up. Could it be this one? This is their choice. Restyle goes down to Rob Wiz frag straight away. They are sat ready and waiting. EG not playing as predictable as Pandemic did on the attack. And on the defense. Lowland Lions didn't allow Pandemic to pick up a single round, but I got a feeling the second half, they weren't quite in it. They were devastated after that 10-2 defense. Sticky peeking. Rob Wiss with that rifle. Looks down street. Nothing in plant room. He's looking. Did he see anyone? No. Still peeking. NTT suddenly reporting he's getting fire. And Rob Wiss took a tag there. Takes a peek. Sees the gunfire once again, cannot be in the right place at the right time. He sees that gunfire, doesn't land the frag though, but NTT does. Shuts down Jopo, denied, taken down by Dooku. Will they be working their way into A or is it continual B push? Oh, Robbins saw the gun there, didn't manage to land the frag though, and still doesn't land it. He's just not showing whoever's hiding. It's like Sko sitting behind A. He's not going to show, he's going to sit there for an hour. And then he'll pop his head up, just when you least expect it. Sticky goes in, Quirty with support, dodges that shot. Oh, nice headshot from Sticky there, Rob Wiz replies, though, taking no Dooku, it's a two on two. And will we see Jihad Sticky once again? It is Rob Wiz and NTT, they're going to be wary of it. As NTT works his way in, Rob Wiz scoping up, checking out the opposition, while NTT tries to work his magic. Foaming at the mouth. 32 seconds. Don't flash him. Don't flash Don't him. Don't flash him. He'll be in bits. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm actually going to have a seizure myself in a minute. D Man is literally foaming at the mouth. I can't, I can't watch. I'm going to go to Quirty or someone. Rob Wiz shuts down Quirty. Suddenly the last man standing is Sticky. Oh, and NTT comes round. Great stuff. They're just about in time to get their defuse. They won more second, and it would have been over. But EG pick up the round. Fantastic stuff from EG. They pick it back up to a 3-2 three or three two scoreline. Bring you up to date with the odds from XL Bet. It's open at an even round. 1-8-7 on each. What's overtime? We don't have an overtime bet at the moment. I'm trying to convince XL Bet to put a, uh, an odds on either Rob Wiz or Quirty getting another ace. I, I will go and put money on that. Rob Wiz delivers. Frag onto one. Doko has after being fragged. Dropped in eye. On board with Quirty. Oh, tough. He's firing really at Tracer Fire more than a body. Oof. That's Rob Wiz shot through there. Rob Wiz, sorry, Wombat has got himself the frag. Three on four. MTT is getting in danger of walking into Quirky territory. But instead he flies across and drops Dropo. Lovely stuff. 4 2. Left up, Wise Guy drops Sticky. And EG are beginning to find their rhythm. And Quirty has crashed. No, no, never mind the call. And NTT finishes it off. And Quirty crashed briefly, only for EG to finish him off. And I'll tell you what. If there's anyone who can, who, who will allow something like that to upset him, it may just be Quirty. They've got to focus, keep going. I'm not too sure. Really, two rounds so far for Lowland Lions, and one of those was the ace from Quirty. So the rest of the team need to start performing. Rob Wish shuts down Dooku. Rob Wish shuts down Sticky. NTT Wombat. It's down to Quirty once again. Very quick stuff there. It's with the AK-47. With it all to do. He's had an ace so far, but 
it wasn't a 1v5. He had the whole team supporting him. He gets the first one, taking down Deny. One back comes in. That's how you deal with one man. You bomb rush him. And they did just that. 5-2 now to EG. 5-2 EG, and they are really looking good now. Ot, 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 Regeki would say. They found their rhythm. They found the answer to L3. They have adapted. Borg-like. They make their way into this one. Grenade in from Chopo. Finds one. Rob Wiz answers back. Quirty's been picked off. L3 quickly looking to run the bomb through the middle. And then they will dart left as they make their way forward now. It is... A push coming in as Joe Poe charges forward. No one challenging. Wise guy finds himself one. Now one back in on Sticky. And Lowland Lions are dabbling with danger here. They could be down by four at the end of this one. They make their way through. It's Restyle who has Joe po Doko only for company. Timeout called by Doko. It's going. F this is not what you want, L3, because Wise Guy's got the frag onto Doko. This is going to be one on four, and I think this is going to be the undoing of L3. Robwiz finishes off the job. EG pick it up. 6-2 the score. We are timed out on this one. Let's bring you a score, uh, the frag update. QWERTY 8. He got five of those in one round, and thus has got just three in the remaining seven. Diablo doesn't think that's so good, but he's looking more at Restyle's naught. The big goose egg. Deny from 25 frags in the last one to two on this. Robwiz... 13 frags on this. Phenomenal stuff. Why do we have a timeout? They've called it. They're allowed to call a timeout. They're just having a quick tactical discussion at the moment. Having a quick talk. Probably Any saying, Restar, what the... Uh, what the devil are you doing, what son? What the devil are you doing? Maybe he needs a dabble. A daily dabble. A weekly dabble. They're not fixing PCs or anything? No, no. It is just literally a tactical timeout. They're allowed it. They're completely allowed to do it. And look, they're even showing each other strategies and positions, if I'm not correct. No, they're not. That was just a movement. There is a lot of money riding us on this, ladies and gentlemen. If Lowland Lions were to take it, they'd have 13,500. If they came second, which I'm guessing they, they can't dream of at the moment, it would be 8,500, which really isn't that bad. EJ would be taking 9,400 if they picked this up. 4,400 4, if they got second. Pandemic have already walked away with 4,300 euros. All these euros, and certainly for Pandemic and EG, euros means prizes because with the exchange rate as it is, the dollar sucking, that means a heck of a lot of money. Certainly for EG, Pandemic walking away with 14,300 from their trip to Europe. Certainly worthwhile. I'm going to turn to my left and look at the uh, people who said that they thought Lowland Lions were going to win. Do you still believe? No, no Fryek doesn't. Oh, Tiddy doesn't. Yes. Bob does. Fryek just changed his mind and now thinks L3 are going to win. I think Fryek has maybe had a bit too much to drink. Maybe. Maybe hasn't brought us enough drinks. Uh, Rob Wiz misses the shot. It's immediately sees two people pushing into A. There was one. Dooku going down to Wise Guy. Rob Wiz going to toss a nade of his own in there. Didn't land the frag though. And the smoke going down so heavily on A. They're surely working their way in. Sticky does take down Deny. Rob Wiz tracking one. Doesn't land the frag though. Deny being shut down. Four on four. Sticky tagged up heavily. Lone and Lions have got themselves the bomb planted with a four man defence. But he. EG still have four men as well on the attack. As they start hitting up all the usual positions. QWERTY shuts down Rob Wiz. Big frag there for Lowland Lions. They can just prevent the rest of the team. And then TT goes down to QWERTY as well. We can see Wise Guy tagging up. Restyle does get one of his frags on there. That was his first frag of the game. QWERTY gets his hat trick. That's the round. That's why they had the timeout. They're not out of it yet. They're not out of it yet, but you have to... Just say that you feel that EG will look to adapt again sooner or later. Wasn't a great deal of noise coming from them at the timeout, but maybe. Maybe, maybe. L3 will be buzzing, though. Wise guy opens up. Deny comes back with one. One batted on the other, and they have adapted, and they are on top of this one. Five on two. It is going to take something special from either Sticky or Quirty. 
And in Quirty, they certainly have a very special man. Going to take his time on this one. Wise guy drops sticky, not what the doctor ordered. Quirty in another one on five. He's going to make his way through. Has been found, has been picked off. And EG, 7-3 after 10. We have two left in the half. Well, 7-5 or 9-3. Oh, very different score lines these final two rounds will make. Well, you'd have seen in the interviews with Jupo, his grin's been getting bigger and bigger. It may well be taking off right now. He thought his attack on this map was better. And at the moment, that's a big worry for them. They did have a 10-2 defense against Pandemic, though. So they have that still on their favor. But at the moment... But that's because Pandemic went wrong way. But at the moment, they need two more rounds to bring it back to 7-5 or otherwise they're staring at a really big score and when you get that big score you get that mental block in your head 7-3 at the moment NTT shuts down Restart who's having a mare of it Rob Wiss tracks one doesn't land the frag though can you hook up that nade see if he can land it with that he doesn't misses QWERTY scoping up they've managed to work their way in it he's looking for that frag Jopo shuts down Rob Wiz. That's going to be over at B site. The bomb surely going to go in. Great shot from Quirty there on Wise Guy. It's a three on three. Deny though taking down Jopo. Quirty going missing. Deny works his way in. 35 seconds. He has the support of his team. Quirty's going to get him from NTT the left. NTT in there as well. And there is Quirty. Shuts down Wombat. Suddenly Deny realizes where it is. And the team dashed to the corner. Taking Quirty practically out of the game. That's man standing with it all to do in the corner is Dooku. If he goes down, that means it's all on Quirty. And he's got a long way to go with 15 seconds. He just has to shoot the bomb planter. It's not going to happen. It's 8-3 to EG. And that's a big round. And that was where Quirty, he went to the solace of his corner house. But he just put himself out of the game. They knew, and soon right away, strength straight against the wall. There is no way out of that house. Great work. Great work all the way around. But from NTT, if there was ever a moment to find a frag, that was it. He stopped foaming for just a second. Charged down the runner. Regardless, he would have taken the bullet for his teammate and thus would have allowed the defuse. Wise guy with the grenade drops Doko. Deny is spotted one will have called it. You would imagine. Oh, oh my days. As far as flick oh. sniper shots, as far as brilliance goes, that's just about it. L3 have a man advantage courtesy of Quirty's brilliance. It's about to become a two man advantage. It's about to become a. Oh, it's Restyle that's got Robbers in fact. Quirty now. Out of the equation, NTT on his own and is downed by Freestyle. EG pick up the round. It's sorry, L3 pick up the round. It's 8 4. <laughs> oh, good lord. NTT, he takes it all in humor as well. Like I said, he had one of those energy drinks the other day. He was twitching so much, he actually knocked a bottle of water clean off his desk. He just slammed his mouse across. The bottle went flying. So 8-4. That's a good round for Lowland Lions. And really, Quirty dragged them out of the mire there. Look at those frag differences. 15 for him. Only 3 and 4 for Dooku, Restyle, and Jopo. Those players need to get their game faces on. And there are still odds live on XLBet.com. This match isn't over and neither are they. The worry for me as a lowland person thinking they're going to win is the fact that Deny has yet to come into this game and EG are 8-4 up. The worry for you will be is, is that I've been wrong on nearly every prediction at this tournament. And, and the one the that one counts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I should have had faith in EG. I put my faith in them in my article. They should proved me wrong. Diablo. But then again, I had faith in you, Subra, and look where that put me. Anyway, it's a five on five. Deny, the man who's actually bottom fragging this time for EG, despite hitting 34 frags over on back lot. Gets tagged up, backs away. One minute, three on the clock. One back does get a frag, and that is QWERTY down. And suddenly, the rest of the team are asked the question, are you actually playing, or is this QWERTY time? Wise guy tosses the nade. There is Deny. There is Wise guy. It's a five on two. EG going to convert this, surely. If they do not, 
They need slapping hard by Nabor. Duku shuts down one back. Rob is taking down Duku. It is all to do by Jopo now. Oh, he misses. How did he not make that frag down street? That's going to give him away. And that really was not good enough. 9 4. And the GG just now four rounds. That's all they've got to do. And they are picking up eight, the 9,400 euros and the trophy, which is pretty nice. You can see it shining in the middle. Yeah, fantastic stuff from, uh, from EG. They've got themselves right back into it. Sticky's dropped NTT, though. And L3 must remind themselves that it's not over yet. The fat lady is not singing. Wise guy finds himself the equalizing frag up on Doko before Denai gets picked off by Jopo. On board with the boy Wonder. As he makes his way through. The other boy Wonder's just got himself the frag onto Wombat. And there is Quirty in on Robwiz. Sticky picks it off. And really, EG without firing a shot in vain, lost the round. And Lowland Lions, they still have a lot of work to do. They've got to big themselves up. They've got to believe themselves in this defense. If you're listening, guys, get yourself on QuakeNet, hash quad V, or on Game Surge, hash quad V. Either or, we are in both. To a European and American, and any other country you happen to be from. Around Lions. Can they convert another round, or will EG's dominance continue in this final? 13-11 on backlot. It was very close, really. If it wasn't for Deny being so sublime, May well have been different. Rob Wiz shuts down Jopo in street. Gets tagged up himself and taken down by Dooku. Sticky does shut down Wise Guy. Quirty takes down Wombat. They have to convert in a four on two. This is where it has to count. Who is left standing? It's Deny. And he's done so much on backlot. Yet to show up. Well, that's a little bit harsh. He's got eight frags. But still, after pulling out such a sublime, maybe he's just thinking, yeah, I've done them, guys. You guys, you take the final. Smoke down. You can't imagine he's going to be like that. Known as Denny to friends. Gets attacked. He was QWERTY down there, scoping up, you would believe. Behind the trash can, or dumpster, or bin, whatever you like to call it. NTT down. Suddenly deny the last man standing. 3 on 1. 27 seconds. Not even got the bomb. He's got to go and try and find that. It's in the standard position that Pandemic leave it in. And it is 9 6. Belief grows in the Benelux team. It does, and well, from that round, you have to look back and say, from that round, you have to look back and say that uh, EG didn't get going again. Second round in a row, they didn't get their attack in motion. Despite losing QWERTY, L3 were able to close out. Rob was down. And switch across to QWERTY. The man, the myth, the legend. Joko's got himself a frag. A call for the, dump uh, the dumpsters. That would have been where they just got that. Jopo's in a wombat. Qwerty is holding off as he thinks he's got the scent. Jopo's found the frag on the eye. It's five on one. <laughs> and within the blink of an eye, it's gone from nine... Five. Five. <laughs> no, from nine, nine three five. to nine seven. Sorry, eight three to uh -huh. nine seven from half time to this. If you look at the second half, yeah. they I'll only picked on up one. one out of five. Oh, Rob Wiz missed that shot. He should have made it down street. Is he going to get the second? No, because Denied beat him to it. Sticky takes down one, but NTT twitching across. Gets the frag. No, Denied. Not by Deny, though. Rob Wiz tosses out the nade. Is it going to land? No, it's not, because the sniper's rifle's there in trusted support. Rob Wiz shut down. Peeking round. Just catches a glimpse of someone down in street shops. It's that bomb up, going to work its way back. NTT works his way across, denied. Suddenly it's a four on two advantage for EG. This will be a big round, I and mean, it would take them to that double figure. In the tenth round, so important. As soon as that confidence starts breeding, because Lowland Lions were on a bit of a mission, and they need to stop them in their tracks. Explosive you hear the sniper shot, that must have been Qwerty's rattling out. Deny sees him, doesn't go chasing. He knows there's a second. He sees the second. That's the two he knows. They're going to be coming from the other side. Sticky does go down. Suddenly, last man standing is Quirty. He's been the big talisman for Lowland Lions in this game, but frankly, Restyle needs to get in this. 
He's got 18 frags. He's the leading fragger in the server. But it's asking a lot of him to carry the whole team. Well, not to put any pressure on the lad. But also, I think, if you take that back and you look at that 18 figure, you take out the ace and you take out the round where he got three, he's been very quiet in a lot of the other rounds. So it's a team effort. I, you know, I know you like your carrier bag expression, but I don't think QWERTY's got this team in a carrier bag. I think this is uh, a team fail. I think this is L3 and QWERTY's just the icing Diablo on the disagrees. cake. Diablo is just full of rage. <laughs> he got a round by himself, Diablo saying behind me. Yeah, but this isn't all about one round. This is about 17 rounds that we've had thus far. And that's where these team players come in. That's where Deny, in that second half, shows you how it's done, in that first map, shows you how it's done. Consistently delivering two or more frags. Wombat finds himself the frag. Quirty downed. Rob Wiz has come back. Jopo is picked off. And now there are just two left up. Sticky and Doko. Doko's got the scent over to one of them. They're going to make their way through. Here we go. Doko puts forward before Wombat finds the frag. Now we'll look to put the bomb down as Sticky is going to try and stop him. Balls his grenade on cue. And now has two more to find. He's got one of them. It's a one on one. And would you believe it? It's Rob Wiz. Well, would you him. believe it? It's Rob Wiz. Will he? I don't think he can play to the clock because Sticky's far too close. Can't afford to wait though at times. And maybe afford to gain himself an angle. Something Sticky's trying to do exactly the same from. It's given Rob Wizard's position away, though, and Sticky is hiding behind a oh. very strong tree indeed. EG in a one on three, and Sticky says, ah, I'll take you all. I'll take you all. And L3 pick up the round with 10 seconds to spare. And that was a round they should not have lost. I had no confidence. I'd already set the score to 11 there. But Sticky does pull it out. And that was an incredibly big round for Lowland Lions. If they can convert the second straight away, they just need to be careful and not let EG whip this one straight off in a fast-paced round because they will surely try and go fast on L3 here. Following NTT, as much as I wish I wasn't. Deny does shut down Restart. They're working their way in towards the A side. As I expected, they're going fast. It will be a big, quick push. Quirty peeking. Deny. Finding it. Jopo does on one back to four on four. They know they're here. They just can't seem to breach that wall. EG seems to be setting up. Quirty with another grenade. This is what EG were worried about. The fact that they would just cook those nades up and toss them in your face. And there is the third. Would you believe it? Deny's thinking, what in the hell is going on? My team's dropping around me from Jihad nades. Now, right and center, Deny is the last man standing. Wise guy goes down to QWERTY. He's a little worried. He's sure they've got no more nades left. He peeks. He's got the deagle. Can he go clutch? He's just in sticky going clutch against his own team. He wants revenge. That's 20 frags. And there it is! I do not believe four cocked up nades. And I'll tell you what, every criticism <laughs> that's been leveled at L3 in COD 4 comes out in that round. You can't round. not but applaud that. You, I, I hate to say it, but you can. <laughs> a round one on nades is not a round worth showing anybody. Oh, Denoy goes down. Here we go. L3 pick it up. EG going to have to give L3 a t t taste of their own medicine. Here we go. Wise guy makes his way through. Picks himself up the frag on QWERTY. It's 10-9, remember. Call of Duty does the call for that one. With those nade frags. And here we go. EG have that man advantage. Wombat's going to have to get that bomb down. And I'll tell you what. Wombat's going to have to be a touch more alert to these nades. <laughs> He's waiting. Holds off. Goes on through. NTT is there. Watch for the sky as the blitz is coming. 
Not That's where forward. Jopo's going. That's where Jopo's going. Jopo's going for the position. He finds it. He launches it. And he doesn't score. Maybe now. From one bad as Rob Wiz delivers a crucial throw. Doko's got NTT down though. And that'll pull it back to a three on two. And there was no grenade that time. Jopo makes his way around with Doko. The two who played well. Jopo was in the yeah, it was Doko in the Korea Tour and RTCW Euro Cup. The pair of them played oh so long together. Call of Duty and Fnatic. Call of Duty 2 in H2K. And not for L3 can they deliver on this one. Wise Guy picks up the frag. It's 11-9. And the game still not won. Well, they tried it this time. You've got to believe sometimes those players would have been going down with grenades in hand. And that's the difference. The opening grenade from NTT. Joe Poe shutting down Deny. Can they take it to that 12th round, forcing Lowland Lions to try and take it to overtime? Remember, EG have never, ever, ever lost in overtime, apparently. Going to them. Jopo does get the frag. It's a three on two. A sticky shuts down Wombat. Rob Wiz, oh, he got a tag there with his nade. Didn't pick up any kill, though. That was sticky. He sure would off, and right on cue, sticky gets the nade frag on Rob Wiz. I couldn't have timed that any better if I wanted to. NTT. Like a man possessed with Wise Guy in support. Wise Guy is in that corner. Does Jopo know it? 47 seconds. You hear gunfire. You hear tracer fire. NTT is tagged up. And the call will have gone out. I think it came from Sticky though. It's Jopo. They're waiting for the plant really they've got no reason to push well the bomb you can see is still not active oh, tagged up there wise guy I think now a sticky working it Jopu what are you doing he was right there that's what he was doing but NTT jumps and springs across but he really should have got that frag before it happened will sticky get it if he doesn't then I'm gonna be blaming that six seconds where are you going he has to go for the plant. He ducks. One second. Did he delay enough? He did. It's 11-10. And this is error. balls Nil. to the wall action. And Lowland Lions are really dragging it out here as EG just cannot shut them down. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The pitcher says a thousand words for that one. Diablo is almost in tears behind me saying, this is just the best game ever. And you're damn right it is. Only here on quadv.com. Here we go. Five on five still. No nades landed. EG lead by a single round. There we go. NTT picks up one. Quirty gets himself another. NTT down. Four on four. Quirty goes hunting for more. Doko. <laughs> that's what happens when you overcook those nades. And perhaps it's better justice. But Rob Wiz is down regardless. We haven't heard from Quirty in a little while. He hasn't stolen the headlines. And he's just been stabbed in the back by Wise Guy's bullets. And that'll be the round. Potentially, because Wombat's got Jopo. Restyle darts out with a frag onto Deny, but is now running for his life against Wise Guy and Wombat. Explosive. And the doctors are in session as they make their move onto Restyle. Didn't she had that time? Makes his way across now. Waits on the EG players to show themselves. And like a bull in a china shop, he goes in. Where, oh, where are EG? And here we go. Restyle is gone for the Diffuse. Can't say anything more, but Wombat finishes it off. And Evil Geniuses have two match points here at the Experience. And the Canadians have had to come back 
from one map down to pull it back to this. Well, it is match point now. There is no messing about. Well, Restyle, as much as I hate to say it, I had no faith in him there. He is definitely lone fragger and serve up by quite some way. You hear the, you hear the shout there from NCT Sniper. I got the Sniper. Quirty down. They have the scent as they push onto B and Sticky. Oh, that nade coming ringing down by him. 1 minute 15. There's another nade come painting down. He's like he's in Berlin. Wise guy shutting down Restyle. Wombat with the bomb. Switching position. Have they completely rotated? Lowland Lions, they're in all manner of problems. They have to pull out a four on two. They have to pull out a four on one. And suddenly it's looking like they may well take it. As Javid crashes on me, it's over. That is it. 13 10 the score. Superb stuff. Really. Phenomenal from Evil Geniuses. They are the experienced champions. And boy, oh boy, do they look like they're loving every minute of it. They had to work very, very hard for it. They came from a map down. They had to pull that one out the hard way. And then they went even harder against L3. Evil Geniuses have won themselves 9,400 euros. Lowland Lions get 8,500. Pandemic have taken third place with 4,300. Regardless, the drinks are on all three of those teams tonight. But what a performance. What a phenomenal performance. Both teams gave us a match that can never be forgotten. And oh, Canada, they will go to I-34 thinking, it's there for the taking. You've been on Quad V from Tosspot D-Man and friends.